Hello, everybody. This is your romantic tarot from Born Without Boundaries. <clears throat> For all signs per zodiac sign, I'm going to go through, starting at Scorpio, I'm going to go through the zodiac and um, share with you the predictions for this coming weekend. So next weekend out, starting energy, starting at that point. Um, I'm going to do the full reading. It should be easy for you guys to toggle back and forth between different signs, especially if you're cross watching. Uh, and I will put the timestamps not only in the description box, but also below in one of the comments so that you can access the timestamps on mobile or on your computer. Uh, what's more is also in the description box, you will find a link to the extended video that accompanies these energies, which is who is coming towards you. The energies of the biggest, best potential, um, the descriptions, the uh, features, the characteristics, the behaviors of this person who could be coming towards you starting next weekend. All right, guys, let's get right into this. I've already meditated on the cards. I've already cleared out the energy. <clears throat> And I've already, um, I've already organized them. So we're just going to draw the cards and see where this goes. I definitely also want to take down, hold on, write down note by note to see, like, uh, just, just so that I can get the timestamps. So this is starting at Scorpio. We'll start from the top at 135, starting from Scorpio. Luck is on your side, new moon in Sagittarius. So, okay. We just had a full moon in Sagittarius. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah. And our, our new moon in Sagittarius was two weeks ago. It, it, it actually happened in November. So I want you to think back, Scorpio. I want you to think back to that time about the energies and the people that you were thinking about and who you took aim at in terms of your attention because this is about setting and aiming this is about setting a target this is about taking aim and it's about letting your arrow fly but it's also about now your arrow is hitting its target this is an energy of love and fruition coming love coming to fruition love coming towards you love growing and expanding if this is already a love that you share with somebody but it's definitely it's hitting its mark in other words the person you want <clears throat> and maybe this may be the, for the first time in your life, but the person that you want, wants you. So it's not this, I love them and I want them or they love me and they want me and it's okay. It's an energy of the two of you wanting each other. The arrow has hit its target. It has, it has settled in where you aimed. Now you might not be intentionally aiming, for somebody this is just somebody who matches your heart matches your vibration so also watch your vibrations because that's truly going to be what is um what what is determining who this person is because this person will be a match for where you sent your arrow or where you sent your focus where you sent your energy so if um i'm hoping that it's not low vibrational this is whatever, whatever the vibration, and hopefully it's a harmonious vibration, whatever the vibration is, Scorpios, it's hit its mark. So the person that you want will want you back. I mean, I mean, that's pretty blatant, right? It's pretty, pretty blunt. Be supportive, make a genuine effort to show you care. And if you see this card, this always reminds me of Sagittarius because he has taken his aim. This is the arrow. Okay, this, uh, yeah, it's the bow and arrow. So what this card tells me is that the person that you have set your sights on is somebody that can help you be the best of yourself. There's somebody who uh, you want to support or you can tell that they want to support you. This might be a new vibration for you, choosing somebody who is gifted or caring in uh yeah gifted in caring for others and taking care of others um there's also if you see that could be uranus or saturn in the background so this is aquarian energy um this is also a sense of um something karmic not karmic maybe that's a bad word something fated something destined 
something that was always coming around and it may have taken a long life cycle since this is an outer planet. It may have taken a long life cycle for the two of you to find each other or the two of you, if you are in a very loving, supporting relationship, could, in other words, this could be the energy of the two of you spending your life together, confirming that you'll be spending your life together because this is a long-term relationship. I think ultimately that's what, that's what this is saying. This is somebody who will stand by your side no matter what. Like one of you is from earth and the other is you, uh, other is from heaven. Bottom line, this is an energy of commitment and marriage, spending your lives together, finding your soulmate or your twin flame. Um, now this could very well be that it took a long time for the two of you to get together, that you're getting together later on in life. But this would be somebody that you have connect with, connected with early on in your life and it will come back around into your life. Or, like I said, this is somebody that you're just meeting, but the two of you have been single either for a very long time or primarily you've been single for your whole lives. Almost like you've never really felt this kind of connection before. You've never really thought about marriage before. But this is somebody almost ultimately as soon as you meet them that you would want to marry and want to spend the rest of your life with. So it's a very romantic, very La Vie en Rose, um, beautiful ending to maybe a long time coming energy. I really love that. And I know that you guys do too. Sagittarius, Sagittarius energy. Step out of your comfort zone, North Node. So the North Node is what challenges you. Actually, the, when I find this card, I always say, Sagittarius, it's your turn. Go to um, astrologycafe.com and get your chart and find where your North Node is. Your North Node is extremely important for you to know anyway because it basically tells you where to set your targets, where to set your aim, and what to focus on to be the best of yourself. Uh, it will be the things that you struggle with the hardest, but if you work on them every single day, there are things that will make your life better. So this tells me that this person is someone who's going to make your life better because you're reaching for them. You're striving for them. You have to earn them. Um, you have to be your best of yourself. And they make you want to be a better person or a better version of yourself. They inspire it. They don't ask for it. They inspire it through something that, through everything that they are. So this could be somebody that you spend long term with simply because they're helping you to stay on your life's path and be the best of yourself. This is get to know each other. Learn to meet another another's needs for love. So this is long-term relationship as well. This is either somebody that you're already spending your life with. There's a lot of water here. So there's a great deal of emotions. There's also with this card, the insinuation that you met each other later in life. That the energy is the two of you came together when you were older. When you knew each other. When you knew yourselves well enough to be able to um, meet each other or deserve each other or be ready for each other. This could be a water sign that you're falling for cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, because there's got, there's a lot of emotions. They definitely arise, arouse passions in you and they definitely arouse your emotions. It's almost like there's an intuitive connection between the two of you. So this may not be somebody that you can sum up or under, well, understand maybe would not with words or intellect, but definitely with your feelings, you are intuitively connected to this human being. This is also a long-term relationship energy, Sagittarius. Interesting. All right, Sagittarius, no, Capricorn. All right, Capricorn. Let's see who's coming to you. Meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces. Interesting. So this is a Piscean energy, a very emotional energy. This is a sense of having to get right with yourself and balance out your emotions because right now your emotions are tugging at you. 
There could be somebody coming back into your life next week, Capricorn, that really pulls at your emotions. That makes, um, that makes things a little bit more difficult for you. That arises, arouses something in you that is not entirely comfortable. Um, and so this is the energy of um, not take, just be aware. Not beware, but be aware of the way that this person is making you feel. Um, do you feel comfortable around them? Do you trust them? Um, why, why is there this discomfort or this tug and this pull? Maybe in some extreme cases, drama. Um, this is definitely, um, an energy that makes you feel unbalanced. Uh, so the effort would be into figuring out where the unbalance is, what you have to do to balance yourself out. Yeah, I would see that this energy coming next week would, would not be, the best energy for you it would be an energy that requires or challenges you to look inside yourself um what is it that you really want what really stirs your passions and what is good and what is healthy for you capricorn love makes the difference love helps heal past hurts and provides a sense of security and self-worth so this is an energy of maybe somebody making amends coming back or trying to make amends to you um, telling you how much they ex um, respect you and care about you. There's definitely this return energy coming through. But I, I feel like the biggest challenge next week, next weekend will be for you, Capricorn, to remember to respect yourself and put your needs first and put your, um, I think, I think make a head over heart decision next week. Um, there's an energy, there's just an energy of, Somebody wanting to make things right for you. Somebody, somebody that wants to make an opportunity for things to be made right. Some, somebody who wants to make things right with you. Um, or just finding the energy and the courage inside of yourself to finally move on. Forgive and let go and release so that you can be prepared for somebody else. Because this is the energy of loving yourself and allowing somebody else's love. And this is, and I got this in your reading um, this week, and I just posted it, an energy of somebody finally coming back into your life, but it basically serves to just make you feel good about yourself because you need it almost, and I don't like to use this word, I use it lightly, but almost you needed validation that you were worthy because this was somebody that made you feel unworthy, that destabilized your emotions somehow. And hearing from them again at least signifies that you weren't nothing. Because I feel like there's been a struggle in you re re recently. Because um, you do tend to judge yourself very harshly. So it's never just, hey, I didn't work out for them. It was what was wrong with me. And the energy next weekend is realizing nothing is wrong with you. Nothing was ever wrong with you. And there's an energy of another person being able to help you see that. And this most likely will be the person who um, caused the pain to begin with. Okay, Capricorn, we move on to Aquarius. Aquarius, a time for healing. A lot of, ooh, it's almost like something is just dawning on you. It's like the dawn of your emotions. I know that sounds really strange. The dawn of your emotions, finding a place where you feel comfortable again and feel right again. As if the healing has finally started to help you move forward and, and, and be able to be comfortable again, to feel again, to o o open your heart again. Hope is on the horizon. That's what I want to say. I like to use that word lightly too, but it's important here. Something has sparked inside of you where something may have been gone for a long time as if there's a way through, but I, I do feel like there's a way. It's almost like there's a way to make this work. There's an energy of there's a way to make this work. I can finally make this work. Um, This could be a situation that you've been working at for a long time that there had been recent conflicts with and you hadn't really been able to see 
the way through, but this could also be somebody coming in that finally sparks your interest again. A part of you that, you know, wasn't doing so well or you thought was in slumber or comatose, starting to stir and feel awakened. But I like the energy that it's slow. It's not going to spring upon you so that it's too much and it overwhelms you. This is almost like you're feeding yourself just a little sliver of emotions so that you can feel stable with this new potential. Treasure your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply. This speaks to family ties. So you could be meeting somebody through your family or through a family connection. There's somebody who could mention something that makes you realize that they're um, that they're they're very much like or they would fit in your family very well. Um, there's also this energy of this potentially could be the person you end up having a future with, having children with. It's almost like looking at them and seeing their your children in their eyes. Um, or maybe it's somebody that you've already met and this energy is just starting to awaken and stir inside of you. You're just realizing that this person could be somebody that could be in your life for a long time. And it could have something to do with you seeing them with children or you seeing them around your child or, you know, getting to spend some time around their child. Children have a very deep um, um, purpose in this connection for you coming uh, this coming weekend um, in that they will demonstrate, their presence will demonstrate this, the longevity of this person and this person's true nature. I think maybe seeing them around children for the first time or maybe introducing them if you have a child in your life uh, will show you uh, how comfortable you feel around them might be what actually sparks that recognition that they could be somebody that is special for you because of the way that they behave toward your family or, or uh, toward your child. Or it could be one of these Jerry Maguire moments, right? where it's like you meet their child and something about their child makes you realize that you belong in both of their lives for the rest of their lives. But definitely something very prominent. You could be working with children or you could see for the first time them with their younger siblings or their younger nieces and nephews, you know, to see how they are with children. And the fact that they are family oriented really shifts your focus on them and it changes them from somebody who was maybe just a friend or just somebody that you were casually dating to somebody that really impresses you and opens up different parts of your soul that, that weren't there or didn't recognize those attributes in them that impressed you so much until this moment. Nice. Interesting energy. Pisces. Let's look. Pisces. Look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. This is take a wider aim, an energy of opening up yourself to different possibilities and different potentials or opening yourself up to a different perspective that you hadn't seen before. This could very well have to do with Sagittarius energy. I don't know if a Sagittarius is taking aim at you, but they got the sister card, which is, um, which is the new moon in Sagittarius. So they're taking, oh, no, no. No, no, no. It wasn't Sagittarius. It was Scorpio, Pisces. It was Scorpio. I apologize. It was Scorpio that got this new moon. So you could be, um, you could be their target. You could be who they're taking aim at. That you could be who they they want to be with. Um, well, it could not be them. It could just be this energy of you sort of being on somebody's radar, most definitely. Um, but also broadening yourself up, broadening your mind, opening yourself up to different potentials and different relationships, or um, seeing somebody that you may, that may not be out of your comfort zone. It's almost like your comfort zone has expanded, Pisces, which is hard because your comfort zone is wide open. But I feel like, I feel like it's just, it's different for you. It's like, it's like you're finally getting comfortable with something that is fuller and deeper and broader and maybe has a purpose beyond just the two of you. Um, so this could be meeting somebody that is in your scope or realm or zone of what you're interested in. Um, but I really do feel this energy coming through really clear that you are 
somebody's target that somebody has taken aim at you and not in a bad way as in love target as in shooting their arrow at you so you could be getting offers or um yeah or, or feeling chemistry coming from somebody that um you hadn't felt before uh and i feel like there's going to be almost, maybe multiple people uh trying to get your attention or um take aim at you or deciding that you're the one this coming weekend pisceans Back to what you love, reevaluate your desires. This is really interesting because this is almost like um, you finding your way back to something that really makes you happy. So this is always the journey of self coming back to realization, of, like coming back to what you really love, what you really care about, being able to focus full time on what you, what you, what, what you are, what your deepest desires are and in doing so, that puts you on the path that basically puts you right into the space of somebody who is just never going to let you go and somebody who's going to want you around them forever. So it is about, so immediately I can tell you there is a connection. There will be a connection between the two of you because the both of you were on the same path. They, you were interested in similar things. Um, this could be the energy of just soulmate or a uh, twin flame coming toward each other, the two of you, because your, your common interests drew you together. The way that you speak or the way that you think brought you together. This could also be the energy of going back to somebody, either returning to a former lover or traveling to see somebody that you have not been able to see for a long time, Pisces. Really interesting. Really interesting. I know I say that way too much. Aries. Take time to breathe out. Disseminating moon. So this is letting some emotions go. Definitely taking the time to exhale. This could be a statement about your current relationship. Um, if you are going to confront that person for any reason or for anything, or you feel an argument coming on, this is the energy of remember to take a breath out. So let your emotions simmer before you act on them. This is also the energy of simmering emotions. So it could very well be that you're starting to feel um, a fizzle, a fade, um, Something, emotion, emotions not being as intense as they used to be. This doesn't mean that the relationship is over. It could just be this weekend, this weekend energy, um, this energy of um, the first time you've noticed this fade in the relationship. Or it could very well be that you are letting somebody go. You are, uh, you are noticing or have noticed that there is too much of a waning, a disseminating. There's too much. And it just doesn't, it just doesn't spark your interest anymore. It's starting to bore you, is what I'm saying, Aries. Receive with love and appreciation. Gracious acceptance is a way to show love. So there are offers, especially if you're an area single, there are offers coming toward you, but they don't hold much interest for you. They don't hold much fascination or they won't last for very long. So any offers that you entertain this coming weekend is not going to lead to a long-term relationship. Um, there's also this energy of refusing somebody's offer, making a decision that you're not ready for the next step or maybe um, you're not happy with what they've offered you some sort of conflict and, and need to talk it out more because whatever offer they made you, it's not that it doesn't infuriate you. It doesn't make you mad. In fact, the opposite, it kind of disinterests you. You're finding that what they want or what they're offering you doesn't hold much interest for you anymore. Okay. That would be very interesting now as to who's coming toward you. Taurus. To see, um, to see who, yeah, to see who is coming towards you. Uh, interesting energy. I'm sorry, that was uh, 2429. I got it. Okay, this is Taurus energy. 
And this is an Aries full moon, a fiery climax approaches. So this is hardcore masculine energy, either a big fight that breaks out between you and your lover, because there's a lot of emotions that's been building up and you just explode on each other. But this is also very sexual energy. So it's a very intensive masculine energy. So that could be the way that you're exploding all over each other, just like fucking like crazy. That's the energy of just getting in there and digging in and just having so much passion toward each other that you have to share it. Um, this is also an energy of, of somebody that ignites a deep passion inside of you. Um, full moon in Aries, a fiery climax approaches. Yeah, there's just a lot of heat here. Heat, especially for a full moon. So uh, not full moon, but um, especially for this full moon energy, this cards energy is what I'm saying. Hmm. Yeah, you're either, listen, you're either breaking up with somebody or, or because it's just done, the relationship is over and you couldn't make it work. Or there is just this explosion of passion for somebody. And whether or not you break up afterward is neither here nor there. This is going to be some really great sex. So, Taurus, I would definitely get a room or send the kids to grandma's house. Do you know what I'm saying? Because you're going to, either way, this is going to be an adult situation where you're going to have to be able to just sort of unleash your emotions or want to unleash your emotions. Um, have faith. Trust your faith in this situation. You know, this is this is basically going where the energy takes you. This is such intense energy. Taurus, it's telling me you're just going to be swept away by it. You could be dealing with another Aries. Uh, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. This is an energy of just, you're just going to have to go with it. Like I said, take the kids to grandma's because there's either going to be an explosive fight, there's going to be explosive sex, or there's going to be an explosive fight and then explosive sex. But this is just not PG shit. If you are in a long-term relationship. Now, if you are in a, like you just met somebody. This is definitely going to be just go with the flow this weekend. Get yourselves a room. Um, maybe banging in the bathroom of the restaurant that you're in. Because this is definitely an energy of, ooh, um wow, just ouch, to kind of like not being able to take your hands off of each other and being totally and completely swept up in the moment. Taurus, somebody has definitely ignited your passions. Gemini, Gemini. Let's see what the energy is for you guys. Your hard work is paying off. New moon in Capricorn. Uh, so romantically speaking, um, you're finally making a breakthrough with somebody that you've been interested in in a while. And maybe this some, somebody is very fascinating because it would take a very hard-minded person, maybe a Capricorn, to, um, it would take a very hard-minded person to be able to um, resist, resist your charms because you are extremely charming. But I feel like something that you're saying is finally getting through to somebody. So either you're finally getting through in terms of romantic advancements, or you're finally, you're, they're starting to see your point. Whoever you're with is finally starting to understand what you were trying to tell them because, you know, they had a hard head and it, it wasn't getting through. So there's this energy of your messages finally arriving where they need to be, finally breaking through this coming weekend. Simple acts of kindness. Kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you. Okay. This is Virgo energy, uh, Gemini. So this is definitely maybe what you've started to do is um, take care of their needs and show them and the reason why what you're saying is finally getting through to them is that you started to behave um, more giving, like giving toward them, kind toward them, gentle toward them. You softened your tone. So it was a tone that was easier to listen to. Um, you softened your way or you reworded something so it was easier to accept or easier to understand, you know, because you have very broad minds and I don't, I don't think everybody understands the concept conceptually. Not everybody understands things the way that you do. So this is you being able to sort of find words that can, that can be 
digestible to the person that you want to communicate to. This is also a sense of finding, uh, finding a, a, of love, of, of being nurtured or being healed. So this is an energy of maybe you're healing. You're finding a way to talk to somebody that you two needed to talk to heal. The both of you needed to heal. And finally, communication between the two of you is possible because energies have settled and you, both of you, one or the other, are finally willing to listen to each other and take into consideration each other's feelings. So this is a really healing energy. So it could be with somebody that you love or somebody that you've broken up with. This could also be potentially you finding a new direction in the person that you're interested in and finding finally finding a way to communicate in a way that they would be interested in you. Whatever it is, your communications are finally being able to break through this coming weekend. All right, we move on to Cancer. 30, 39, Cancer. All right, your commitment is being tested. First quarter moon. Um, I feel like this is an energy that Cancerians always feel like we're in. Because they're, or just coming, this coming weekend, somebody about, somebody that you really love or somebody that you are interested in is disappointing you. And you're starting to question this is maybe the first time uh, that you've experienced this with this person. You're starting to question, is this where I really want to be? Is this who I really want to be with? There's something about a little bit of doubt that comes up in you this coming weekend that, that uh, you know, what do I, if you're single, um, do I really want this? Do I really care so much about being with somebody? You know, is this really working for me if I'm on dating sites? Is this really, it's almost like this energy of you reevaluating the way that you feel about your current situation. In a nutshell, have patience. Love is patient and kind always. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, um, but this is also telling you that you could just be frustrated because a lot of things have been very difficult for us and they will continue to be very difficult for us. Um, there's just an energy of, you know, the Saturn and Pluto uh, just rubbing us somehow in, in, in a not so great way or, or making things challenge or, or challenging us in the harshest ways. As the North Node, I think we're entering the final year of the North Node being in Cancer or the final few months. So this is sort of the energy of things starting to pick up and get a little bit more difficult for us. So it's definitely asking you to breathe and be patient while you question these commitments because these questioning of commitments may just be because you're frustrated right now with your life and so you want to make some changes that don't that don't really need to be made so it's like take a breath before you make any really big decisions but there will be this energy cancerians of questioning questioning what you really want and having to have patience because the truth is all that you really want isn't here yet and that could be what frustrates you so much about next weekend is that you just know that all that you want isn't what's right in front of you and it's going to take more time oh boy it's that's never an easy energy for you to deal with because you want love and you want it now and love is so important to your sense of self so focus on self-love cancerians focus on who you are and that I, that could be part of it too of, of wondering if basically seeing a conflict between your goals in life and who you want to be with you could see that clash starting to come into realization next weekend too, or into some sort of prominence next weekend as well. Leo, 3357. Leo, a time to give rather than take. It's funny, I think you got this energy last time too. You could be dealing with a Virgo, but this is definitely that energy of you putting yourself on the back burner for the other person. Now, if you are in a long-term relationship with somebody, this is a very good energy because there's somebody that's always, that's, they, have, they have a very grounded energy and there's somebody that's always prioritized you. So it could be this wonderful combination of the two of you just prioritizing each other this coming weekend. This could also be 
sort of leave your ego at the door when you're looking for a new love because this new love could be somebody that isn't as boisterous or outgoing as you. So it could very well be that you just basically make the decision to make the first move, take the first step, make things a little bit easier on the other person this coming weekend. Miracles and blessings, everything has its gift. This is also a very earth energy. So it's about receiving. It's about giving, um, giving and allowing somebody else. Yeah, I just have this feeling of you really wanting to provide for somebody, really wanting to give, really wanting to make the offers, really wanting like this energy of, of you know what you want, first of all, and you just can't stop giving to this person. You can't, you can't stop gushing about this person. Um, there's a humility about this person. There is something about this human being that really impresses you, whether you're in a long-term relationship or this is just coming towards you. There is this energy of really being blown away and it's almost like as soon as you meet them, you wanna give them your all. Um, time to give rather than take. This is also saying that if you are in a long-term relationship, to be the giver this coming weekend, to continue to give because you have so much to give. It, there's this energy of, I, I don't even feel like you guys are going to be need, needing to hear this. This is so, like there's just, the energy is so deep inside of you that you just, you're gushing. You're gushing about your other person. It could very well be that they need some healing. Maybe they're not feeling good. They need to be taken care of. And you want to take care of them. Um, having the resources and feeling good that you have the resources or you have enough energy to be able to contribute to somebody else's happiness this coming weekend. You're going to take a great deal of pride in that. You're also going to be somebody else's miracle. That's what I'm hearing, Leo. Like you're going to come through as somebody else's miracle. So you may be meeting somebody for the first time and you know, this could be a person that, oh, I thought nobody would ever come up to me or this an energy of a person who had sort of maybe given up on love and then you walk into the room and you, you see them. There's just this energy of you being the breakthrough for somebody this coming weekend. Interesting. I've never gotten a reading like that before, but I feel like your, your, your um, energy was similar last week too. So there's definitely something in the cosmos. Leo, Virgo, we're on to Virgo, 37.17. Be bold and make the first move. Virgo, step out, go ahead, don't hold back. This is an, also an energy of it's, it's the right time. This is the right time. Get out there and make that move. Go ahead, talk to them first or ask the question. Go ahead, pop the question, Virgo. It could be that you are actually popping the question. Um, or it could be that you are basically saying, I love you for the first time. This is definitely the energy of Virgo, you being the initiator. It, I want to see what this other card is, though. Practice compassion. See things from a fresh perspective. But this is also your energy. This is also very earth energy, gentleness, healing, tenderness. Um, um in other words, when you make your first move, be very gentle about it. Don't be so abrupt or harsh. You will, you will want to, you will want to charge at somebody this coming weekend. And you definitely should make the first move because they're rather withdraw, with, withdrawn or shy, but they need a gentle approach. So before you make your first move, take a few breaths, like take some deep breaths and calm yourself down a little bit. Figure out how to, you're very good with words. So figure out how to talk to this person, how this person, like, like this is perfect energy. I love that you're seeing it a week ahead because this is going to give you a per, uh, plenty of time to plan how you need to say this to somebody. I can almost feel you planning how you're going to make this, this first move. And that's very good because they're going to need a very specific approach. And I think that you know that. I think that you can feel their tenderness and their innocence um, you can also feel that they 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 like to be communicated with in a, a special way. So this is you finding the right way to say something to that right person, and it actually working for you. This being the the 
the, the, the cards being on your side, in your favor, Virgo, for whatever it is you have to tell somebody as long as you can find the right way to tell them. And that's what this prep is going to be this next week is trying to find the right way to tell somebody something. Now, for, for, for a lot of you, this is finding a, the right way to tell somebody that you love them. Like this is the first, the first way, the first move, make the first move. But this is also you being the initiator of any other conversation that you may need to have with somebody that you care about and figuring out when you're going to do it, planning how you're going to do it, how you're going to break this news to them. I don't think it's bad news. It could be in some aspects, but I don't think overall it's bad news. I just think that you know this person has a very particular way that they need to hear something. And especially if you want, especially if you want to get what you want out of this, you're going to need to word it very particular. And it's going to be a great, like, I think you like this challenge. I think that you like the preparing for this challenge. I think that the rest of this week, you will be preparing for practicing how you're going to say this to this person. Oh, I, be, I really don't want to know what you have to say. So this is Libra energy, 40, 47. I feel like I skipped somebody. I feel like I skipped a lot of people. Hold on. Let's do Libra though. Let's do Libra. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope, Libra, here we are. It's time to release negative energy. Full moon in Scorpio. Okay. Yep. And you guys have been going through this transition for quite some time. So this could be actually releasing somebody that is negative in your life that doesn't make you feel good, that doesn't make you happy. After many, many years or many, many months or many, many days trying to make them happy, realizing that nothing makes this person happy, this is the sense of healing, of letting yourself heal, of helping yourself to allow yourself to be happy. Um, there is something in your life that wasn't working and it doesn't make any sense to hold on to it because all it does is keep stinging you. You could be actually dealing with a Scorpio Libra or there's just this call to it's time to let go. It's time to release. Now, this could be about a situation, a person that you released a while ago but this sort of negative energy is still looming. So maybe it could help to talk to this person and to basically get the resolution that you need, but it's not to make amends or to go back to this relationship because this was a dysfunctional relationship. This is an energy of you finally being able to um, do what you love to do, which is smooth things out and make it okay, not go back, go back, but just make a situation that's been very difficult okay. By talking about it with each other, by by sharing your feelings with each other, um, by um, resolving the issues and finally laying something to rest. Interesting. Speak the language of love. You could be dealing with a Gemini Libra. Loving words have the power to change lives, including your own. These are two full moons. So this is double energy of release. Releasing what you, saying what you had to say and resolving issues. Also with this beautiful, this is just the Gemini, um, full moon in Gemini that just passed. Being a, giving you the energy to be able to find the words that you need to use to be able to heal whatever it was that needed healing between you. So this could be you getting back together or finally being able to like reconcile the issues you had with your significant other or with somebody else that you care about. Or this is just the energy of being able to find the words to finally say goodbye, to finally release and let go, because this is double energy of letting go. So this is certainly something that has to be released and it has to do with some sort of communications. So you finding the right words or the right way to let them go, to release them or let these tensions go. You know, um, free yourself this coming weekend, Libra. Um, it's, it's just, you might, you might actually see somebody that you haven't seen for a while. And finally get the chance to like say what, say what you need to say or let them say what they need to say and, and respond as you will. But there's a, a circumstance in your life that needs resolution. Okay. It, it doesn't necessarily need reconciliation, but it needs resolution. And this is going to be your opportunity 
all the words will be there for you. You'll be able to understand exactly how to say what needs to be said to be able to make peace instead of more war, which I think is, has, is, is what's been upsetting you. You feel this disconnect. You feel the discord. And that's just not something that you can live with. So this is going to be when you're finally able to talk to talk to whoever you need to talk to in whatever capacity that you need to talk to them to give yourself that peace and that resolution. Lovely. So guys, I'm going to leave these timestamps. I'm going to also make the extended video. Please, the, um, the link to the extended video is below. The energy of who is coming towards you. Very, um, it could get very detailed energy. Actually, I, I pick up a lot of physical features or characteristics. I pick up a lot of behavioral traits or how this person will approach you. Um, if this, whoever it is, you know, you know. Yeah, I, I think approach was the wrong word, but um, it could give you guidance as to who exactly this message is about, especially if you were thinking about more than one person when you were listening to the message. So I will see you over at the extended. Bye guys.